guys, I'm in Chinatown here in Bangkok. Okay, we're gonna walk around and have a lot of fun. I uh, just found this out, a little tidbit about this part of town. This Chinatown was established in 1397 by a French missionary named Pierre Ledoux, who was out doing a mission. And that's why it's inspired by French stuff. So, let's go take a look. Razor. Yeah, so we're just walking through the area right now, and it's it's really big. I mean, I've been walking down this alleyway for about ten minutes. It's pretty good size. Anyway, it's my first time in this area, and um, they have a lot of stuff that's Chinese-based here in Chinatown. <laughs> it's kind of odd, right? <laughs> it's like everyone's riding a scooter through that little one lane. Um, I don't know, boy, this is uh, it's really big. Oh, I'm kind of excited about this. This is the part that always scares me here as I walk across the street. There aren't a lot of stop signs or stop lights here, I should say. And it's very easy to get hit. Hasn't happened to me yet, but I still get nervous crossing the street here. I have not been to a place around my area of town that was this busy. The amount of people here is more than anything I've seen uh, on Central Sukhumvit. I mean, this place, relatively speaking, is packed on the main street. Um, I live off BTS Summit, it's not this busy, and of course I'm about to get hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, it gets pretty scary here sometimes. So I think we're walking down a, a one-way street because all the cars and bikes are coming uh, towards this direction here. And one other thing I've noticed is that the prices here are actually a bit less uh, than where I live. I wonder if as you go out towards the outskirts of, of the city, if things cost less money. So I've only been walking around for probably an hour. And this place is huge. It's really big. Um, if anyone could tell me, like, how many square miles this is or how many blocks, I'd appreciate it because uh, I'm getting a little tired now and it's, it's actually really hot. I'm starting to sweat. But uh, this is exciting. Anytime I get to go someplace new, it's, uh, it's always a lot of fun. Oh, look at that. They have all these small alleyways. I mean, it's just easy to get lost here. And I don't know how there's so many businesses and they can still support themselves. I mean, it's, at least right now, there just isn't enough people who can shop. Look at this, they just keep coming down the <laughs> anyway, I think I was walking down a back alley, which is the uh, back entrance to the to the stores. You know, kind of like going to uh, going through someone's house from the back entrance. Uh, they weren't uh, too happy to have me walk by there, and I felt like I was getting some dirty looks, so I immediately walked out of there. Boy. One of these days I'm gonna get hit. Kachang? Yeah. Well, I, I stopped because this is a great shirt and I love the dog. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it's busy here. Oh, I like these. I should have saw that. But those are, um, it's these buns and they put like jelly inside or condensed milk, sugar and butter. It's, it's really tasty. Uh, I'm not sure if they have those in the States because I've never seen them, but 
I get those from time to time here. Let's go take a look around and see some more stuff here. Can anyone translate that for me? So I'm getting a milk field boba. Under a dollar. I mean, it's, I like milk tea and boba. So here's the part where it gets really uh, scary is when you try to walk down these alleyways and uh, you don't have much space. I thought she was talking to me. Well, I have to turn my back so I can make it. Yeah, that, that's how much space I have. But finally, there's a spot. Oh, that's it. Just trying to walk down this alleyway. And we made it. So, one thing I've noticed walking down here is that there are definitely different sections to the market. You have your food sections, you have your clothing sections, you have your electronic sections. Uh, I mean, it's this is just a huge village. It's um, it's just a lot of fun walking around this and just seeing and smelling and tasting everything that's around. Okay. This place is huge. doesn't use a lot of uh, street lights. <laughs> Back in 2006, a huge meteorite the size of a city block landed right here and destroyed most of this area. Tens of thousands of aquatic life was just demolished in that one moment. Uh, this is a little landmark that's been built to commemorate that event. 2007, this was established, the crash bridge. Let's all bow our heads in silence for a few seconds. Google it. Hey, I'm just curious, guys. Have any of you ever tried bath salts? I've always wanted to try it, but I can't get my hands on it. I don't know what it is, really. Is it just salt in the bath? If you guys know the answer, let me know. Bath salts. I don't think you can really go swimming in here. At least I wouldn't give it a shot. What do you guys think? After many hours of walking around, I finally found it. This is the original building established by Pierre Ledoux back in 1397. They're actually reworking it right now because, you know, over several hundreds of years it has gone to waste a little bit and uh, they have to improve the facade. But this is the oldest building that is still standing in this part of town that's within 50 meters of me. This is it right here. Looks gorgeous. Fun fact, that was the standard for Billy Zane on Titanic. Back in 1994, 95. For real. So, I'm at the Red Rose in Chinatown. I got really thirsty. It's really humid here in Bangkok, as you guys know. Well, if you've been in Bangkok, you know. Uh, so, this place looked fantastic from the outside, and I knew I had to stop by. 
and um, they are having some really kick-ass promotions here. Between five and seven, you get a buy one, get one free special. And let me show you the drinks that they have here. Well, at least the two I got. I bought one, and I got one for free. This is the Phuket, and this is the Double Berry. I don't know which one to try first, but I hear they both have lots of alcohol in them, and they're both pretty good. Huh. Let's do this. Okay. Thank you very much. This looks really nice. So they gave me this at no cost and two for one drinks. <laughs> That's just crazy. Let's try this. Hopefully I don't burn myself. So this is the Red Rose in Chinatown. They have that buy one get one free promo six days a week from 5 o'clock until 7 o'clock because they are closed on Mondays. But uh, this is such a nice place. And the drinks are very well priced. <laughs> We're actually doing another shoot right now. <laughs> 